Want to dedicate your client's Ava remote to one single app? You can totally do that with kiosk mode. Here's how. In this episode of Smash Tech, I'm covering kiosk mode, which is now available on the Ava remote. Kiosk mode locks down the Ava remote to one single app of your choice. Some people, usually nerds like me, like using Ava remote for more than one app. But most clients don't think of it as an Ava remote. They think of it as their Creston remote or their Lutron remote. They want to pick it up and have the app ready to go. Kiosk mode gets rid of notifications from other apps. It also prevents anyone from making changes to the remote. The remote stays in kiosk mode even after you restart the remote, or even after an app updates, or even after an Android OS update. Kiosk mode is worry-free for you pros. It's super easy to enable kiosk mode. All you need is a new Ava remote and an Ava kiosk key, which is now available from the Ava store. The key can be used as many times as you need and shouldn't be handed out to your customers. The Ava remote needs to be new out of the box or a factory reset. If you see a blue welcome screen, then you're ready to go. While on that screen, bump the key behind the Ava remote. A chime confirms the key was recognized. Connect to Wi-Fi and hit next. The screen telling you the device is being added to an organization tells you that you are on the right path. The organization is your customer's home, not Ava, and you as the pro are the IT admin. Replace the default launcher with the Ava app as the launcher. And you should set the Ava app as the launcher on all Ava remotes, whether you use kiosk mode or not. Open the Google Play Store and log in to a Google account. Remember, for privacy, Ava recommends using a Google account that no one uses as their personal account. Now search and install the app you want for kiosk mode. Lutron is great on the Ava remote, so let's set it as the kiosk app. On the home screen, tap the settings icon in the top right. Tap app kiosk. Choose which app to run in kiosk mode, and then set a pin. The pin is important. You need it to get the remote out of kiosk mode. Once you set the pin, you can launch kiosk mode by hitting start kiosk mode. The Ava remote will reboot when doing so. The Ava remote is now dedicated to Lutron and no one can mess that up. To get out of kiosk mode, swipe up from the bottom of the screen, tap the dialog box seven times, enter your pin and it unlocks. Pro tip, do not forget your pin. If you do, you'll have to do a factory reset on the remote. And that's the new kiosk mode for Ava remote. Here's the link for the guide. So what do you guys think of it? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to check out my other episodes.